Good evening guys, um, before I show you um, what I've, I've done, I just want to have a recap on the um, cyclone filter video I did um, a couple of days ago. Um, I've had a couple of comments, um, one of them was this guy couldn't understand what I was expecting with this experiment basically um, it's something to do with you know was it a build up of soot inside the chamber um, no it's it's nothing to do with that um, <clears throat> the old idea of creating this um, <clears throat> cyclone filter is to connect to an oil burner, waste oil burner, uh, a log burner, anything that creates gases, um, smoke or whatever. This is designed to remove the particles from inside the gases. Um, and then it keeps it, or catches everything in the main catch tank at the bottom. It's just to stop part, bigger particles going into the atmosphere, really. So, yeah, it is an experiment. And I don't know if it's going to work or not. Fingers crossed it does. I mean, there's millions of people out there who have log burners, oil burners, and everything else. And... If this just takes a percentage, you know, of the gases or waste particles from the atmosphere, well, it's 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 doing its job, isn't it? Well, we won't know until we do a test burn a bit later on. But um, yeah. Also, I got asked what happens to the stuff that's been caught in the catch tank at the bottom. This device here. Um, well, you just put it in a bag and put it in your waste bin, um, and then obviously it just gets taken away. I mean, all, m most or majority of um, house waste gets incinerated anyway, and uh, it's a very high temperature. Them incinerators they use, so it'll just be burnt away anyway. Um, but I do have an idea. What I'm hoping to do is at the bottom of here, if everything works, is put a tube on it and have it going back into the chamber. Well, the main burn area. And let it just burn away. And it'll go up, round, so it's a continuous burn all the time so hopefully i don't i don't know it's all yes and no's and ideas you know so we'll just have to see you know <clears throat> right anyway the main reason for this video today is I've created a portable, well, a fuel cell basically for um, waste oil burners or oil burners, diesel burners, whatever. I'll uh, show you. So basically, there's your fuel pump, that's your controller for the uh, blower, and that's the controller for the fuel pump. And above, there's a little fuel tank. This holds approximately about a litre, 
a fuel. And the good thing about it is it's portable. Basically, just put your waste oil, whatever, diesel, petrol, mixture of all sorts, vegetable oil in there. And then connect it up to your portable. <laughs> well, if you've got one. I've just started making one. It's about the same height as the fuel cell. This is 12 volts by the way. Uh, it's not complicated, it's not 240 or 110 or 115 or whatever. It is very very simple and uh, like I said it's 12 volts. So if you've got it in the back of your car Caravan, camper van, you're on the move, it's cold, you break down in your car, or you, you know, it, it, it's <clears throat> well, basically, that there, connect it to your battery, 12 volt battery from your car or whatever, where there's 12 volts, a little power pack, 12 volt power pack, or anything, connect that up, and away you go. It'll work your pump and it'll work your blower. That's it. Connect your blower to your burner and away you go. It is simple as that. I will be doing a test run on it. I just got to finish the, the burner off. But, you know, you can get the rough idea. So, um, yeah. This is a short video, guys. Just showing you what I've done today and yeah brilliant stick it in the car van lorry whatever and away you go I have got a list of the parts here this here is just a fuel tank off a lawnmower nice and simple but the pump and the controllers you can get off eBay I mean this controllers about tenner uh, about just over eleven dollars this controllers here is about the same and the pumps about twelve fifteen dollars and that's it basically the way you go connected to 12 volts any type of 12 volts DC and the way you go simple as that but if you want to know more on it drop us a line or uh, send me an email the me email address is on one on another video um, and I'll send you the plans over for it then uh, you can have a go at making it yourself but anyway guys that's it for me today please subscribe I've got some cracking um, designs coming up and hit the like button take care guys see you soon